This was not a vigil. It was an act of collective anger. Protesters upset over the assassination of journalist Daphne Caruana Galicia called for the resignation of the island nation's police commissioner. They threw coins at a banner of Lawrence Kuteya, chanting shame on you and no change, no justice. Galicia was an investigative journalist who specialised in corruption cases. Just before her death, she posted a message saying that in Malta there were crooks everywhere. She died when a bomb planted in her car exploded. At another rally close by the capital, Valletta, people remembered her passion. I would say she was admired and resented in equal measure. She, there were a lot of people who couldn't stand the way she wrote, the gossip element of it especially. But in reality, she was one of the ones who really unearthed some of the biggest scandals in recent years. Others in the crowd say they want a new Malta. We're here because we want to show that the next generation believe in freedom of speech, that we will not be silenced and that we will always speak out against injustice when we see it. To support freedom of speech as it's being attacked in the country right now. The leaders of Malta's main political parties were not in attendance at either rally. One said he knew Galicia's family did not want him there. Under the slogan, no change, no justice, thousands have gathered here to demand justice in the ongoing investigations in the case of the murdered Panama Papers journalist Daphne Caruana Galicia. Some say it's the biggest protest that Malta has ever seen.